Mr. President, Commissioner Srica, dear colleagues. First of all, I warmly thank you, President Titi Kostas, for your energy to organize this uh, plenary session in these special conditions. I know it was hard, but you did it. And uh, in the same time, I hope that this new normality would be as short as possible, but we have to manage in the present uh, conditions. Also, special thanks to the technical team for their professional support. Uh, dear Commissioner Suiza, on behalf of the EPP group, I would like to congratulate you for your report on the impact of the demographic change you presented to us. Especially, I want you to congratulate because in your report, you moved from reactive to proactive responses in demographic changes. And this is so important. You already mentioned in the plenary now, the next steps which will follow the report. Dear Commissioner, you identified a number of major demographic challenges, such as aging, a declining birth rate, and the population, the population in some of, the, of its regions. Absolutely agree. Please allow me shortly to emphasize one aspect from the report and also our reporter, our, our colleagues, who is the rapporteur, did an excellent job and congratulate him also. He already mentioned. I will emphasize the impact on brain drain. If it's not properly addressed, the brain drain can affect on long term the future of our European project. In my opinion, we have to take in consideration at least three points. First, the free of movement of workers is and should remain one of the fundamental freedoms of the European Union. This is a religion, we cannot touch it. Second, everyone is free to move voluntarily inside of the European Union, but no one should be forced to leave his own region, his own country, due to the economical constraints, due to economical reasons. Third, connected with the, the second point, we must, we must transform brain drain in brain gain through brain circulation. So how can we do that? What's next? And you, Commissioner Suica, you're a very pragmatic person. You have been the mayor of Dubrovnik and you changed the face of that city and it's a very European site. And you know better than me that a goal without a plan is just a wish, but also a plan without political support and financial resources is just a piece of paper. So now is the time to quick act together in three-dimensional approach, European state and local level. The key words of our common response, the present situation are cohesion policy, investments, jobs, quality of life, and acting green, digital, and to be innovative. I think together, we can achieve in this very good context, which has never been before, to really do our job. In the end, please allow me to remember to all of us that Robert Schumann, one of the founding fathers of the EU, born in 29th of June, 1886, said, Europeans will be saved if they are aware of their solidarity in the face of danger. Europe will not be made all at once, or according to a single plan. It will be built through concrete achievements, which first create a de facto, a de facto solidarity. So let's fulfill the dream of Robert Schumann and create a de facto solidarity, de facto solidarity in every corner of Europe. How? Through cohesion policy, investment, jobs, quality of life, acting green, digital, and being innovative. So now is the time to move forward. In the end, I would like to congratulate uh, Commissioner Suica, congratulations for the first Croatian EU presidency. It was a very successful one in the very special circumstances. And at the same time, success to the German presidency, the German presidency which is taking place right now. Thank you, President.